are. It's cool. going to be interesting. TM4 and Atana, both uh, both well known for their Nesses. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a Ness ditto in doubles is not exactly what you would expect to see, but when you've got Ness players of this caliber showing up, definitely a thing that can happen. Yeah, and then meanwhile, the uh, the two X Factors here are uh, going to be the Joker and the Yoshi. Uh, mm -hmm. Seth doesn't go to a lot of tournaments uh, outside of outside of like a couple, you know, like frequents. But he doesn't make it out to Ignite. Yeah, it doesn't go to Tripoint often either. So okay. it's, it's really good to see him uh, showing up uh, out here. Yeah, and at the beginning, just kind of a lot of slugging it out in the middle. Not a lot of tangible advantage for either side. Just kind of doing their combos, saving the partners. But, oh, yeah. home run swing will take that first stock. It was a barely stage advantage, but it was just enough to find that opening. Yeah, awareness of doubles is so important because you could you could be you know winning all your neutral interactions, doing great, but if you don't pay attention to your opponent, you're gonna eat just a straight up uh, straight F smash. Mm -hmm. But another F smash, it'll even up. Oh wow, right I there. feel like that was not the greatest DI, but it was such a quick move. Yeah, this gonna be, this is gonna be really rough for the Joker because he can't land on anyone's shield really. Ness has Nair out of shield. Mm -hmm. Yoshi has Nair out of shield. Joker doesn't really have his out of shield option per se. He has to play really aggressive. Right. He's got stuff like up smash or Nair, but those are both slow. Like, yeah. They're strong, but you can kind of harass him a bit. Oh. Oh, great drag down up air into the up smash. But a lot of extra percentage on a set that he just kind of evens up instantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi can just uh, put out a ton of damage very easily. It just comes down to finding your openings. Mm -hmm. The fact that Atata has died so late in the first stock really is carrying them forward. Although, Seth losing his stock there is Ooh. going to put Atata in a rough spot. Yeah, it's interesting. We're not really seeing the Yoshis, or we're not seeing the uh, the Nesses divide up and fight each other. They're both trying to go after the, uh, the non-Ness opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of like, kind of advanced double strategies this late in the bracket where it's like you're not just going to see it separated into two 1v1s. You're going to see it like maybe one 1v1 and the Nesses are supporting them or yeah. the fast characters are controlling space. Yeah, and finding you know finding a way to support your teammate can be so hard, especially for newer players or at least players who are new to the double scene, mm -hmm. because you have to you have to fundamentally change your play style, and uh, it's kind of like waiting and punishing. Mm. And speaking of waiting and punishing, yeah. a great back air to lock down that stock. He was in a really bad spot, but he pulled off an excellent reversal, and that's going to be huge for them. Although if they can see if red team can take a stock here, then it's looking very good for them. Yeah, and TM4 going oh. so low for it. He's going to get that PK Thunder 1 uh -huh. uh, just eaten right up. That's going to be a little percent and uh, some damage. Ooh, liking the team combos here. Yeah. Falls apart for the PM, though. Oh. Okay, good. Double jump out. That's such a fast element option. But he just needs to use our send to seal out Tata's stock. And yeah. it would be. Yep. Okay, this is doable. It's going to be really tough. But he definitely has a way in. Yeah, he just needs one good read with that Rebel's Guard, and he can uh, get that Arsene in and start really doing some damage. Or even without Arsene, you can just rack up a bunch of percentage with the basic Joker combos, as long as he stays alive here. Oh, oh man. So dangerous trying to dance around this Yoshi. Especially, like, a character like Yoshi, where, like, they've got a good recovery, but it's really risky. You just need, like, one a fantastic footstool read, and Yoshi just disintegrates. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. he really Great needed that, because that last kill hit did give him Arsene. So if that didn't kill, which, you know, and that percentage up there is obviously going to kill. But if it, yeah. if, if he had hit missed, him with if he had missed the yeah, confirm. Or if he had hit him with something that wasn't forward air into up air, then he would have been in an even game. Yeah. Yeah, great job from Seth, just maintaining composure. Uh, when you get when you lose your teammate in a, mm -hmm. in a double set, it's it the pressure just falls right on you. Especially when you're in that moment where you're like, we have three stocks, and he only has one, and then it suddenly goes down to the one v one. Yeah, they have all the momentum, and you're just like, what went wrong? Yeah, we uh, we saw that we saw that much earlier in the bracket uh, when it was uh, Animal Kingdom and RZI making the comeback against uh, Goblin and Frosty. Animal Kingdom, you know, he he lost his teammate, but got a swing back off of like one hit, and suddenly everything was in his favor. Mm -hmm. So going to Battlefield as the counter pick, which is kind of interesting. I feel like this would benefit Yoshi a lot more than Joker, but it probably has to do with the way the team compositions are structured and not just character on character matchups. Yeah, a wise uh, a wise old man named Pack once told me 
don't take Ness to uh, to Triplats. Whoa! That confirmed, man, the fair into the Yoshi back air. With more rage, that would have been super brutal, but good DI. And a great DI keeping him alive there. And now it's going to be it's gonna be uh, TM4 taking the point while uh, Dai just kind of tries to look for an opening. I mean, he's got this Arsene, kind of needs to use it. He, he's letting a lot of it waste down while he's trying to find Aegon's. Although sometimes, yeah, like just throwing projectiles is the best use of Arsene. Like, Aegon is a fantastic move, and Gun Special is also a lot of pressure. So sometimes, you know, you want to go in. Oh, he missed the air dodge to ledge. But yeah. If you can hit like two or three Aegon's, that makes the Arsene wall worth it. Especially yeah, you, in doubles. You are right about that. Oh, and here come the juggling. Yeah, that SD was really brutal. Yeah. It, you know, you, you'd think an SD would matter more in a, in a three-stock game where there's three stocks apiece, but there's a lot of mental game that comes into... Ooh. Wow, I'm loving it. Had his use of just everything to put as much pressure on the ledge as he could before Although it goes TM4 back to Although TM4 was very wise to it and actually managed to absorb one of the PK flashes. That is definitely what Red Team needs if they're yeah. going to get back into this game. Yeah, oh, no! Wow, great gimp from Seth, but he's going to lose the stock for it. Yeah, and uh, it's so important to call out uh, kind of flashier options like that uh, from TM4 because now, cause now Tad is not going to be as, uh, as brave about it next time. He's maybe mm -hmm. not going to go for those PK flashes. Oh, tries to get the spike off of the egg lay. Yikes, yeah. There were a couple really massive plays, and blue team is now at a clear advantage. He's like, yeah, sure, absorb it. I'll just throw another. You're yeah. already a kill percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Nair popping away off stage. Here's where it's big. You know, you need those edge guards, especially against a character like Ness. <laughs> he tried to punish a jab. Oh, and there's the back air. It looked like he got hit into it uh, and then was able to find the back air uh, yeah. out of the hit stun. It's a great move. And wow, Daijobu trying to go as far as possible to get this edge guard, but not going to work. Yoshi. Got a ton of vertical recovery. Yeah, it is exceptionally important that Daijobu survives for as long as possible here. Because if he gets gimped again, then this game is over. Yeah, he needs an Arsene. That's kind of the comeback factor here, because just putting TM4 against the best mess in Chicago. And he did not survive. Well, yeah, no, that's really long here. enough. Yeah, that back air did a ton. Oh, trying to get the confirm off the fair. And now it's going to be so tough for TM4, a character that can, you know, Ness can edge guard a lot, uh, especially against another Ness. Yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh but just goes down there. And, uh, yeah, that, he, was I just mean, like, he didn't even tech because he knew it didn't matter. He was yeah. just like, yeah, I've played this match a ton. I know I just need to get hit by this, and the game is over. You just fall. Yeah, great awareness from Seth to just kind of go down there and throw down his life for that stock. Opting to go back to the Pokemon Stadium now. Dire Straits for uh, for TM4 and Daijobu. Mm -hmm. They've come so far to get here, but it's it's looking like this this obstacle of Yoshi with the speed and Ness with the the kind of frame data and like stage control with his projectiles. Like Joker is kind of just caught in this net, and Ness is not fast enough to save him. Yeah, and it's 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 really hard to just to justify dittoing, you know, one of you know one of the best nests, one of the right. easily the best nests in Chicago, uh, one the, one of the best, if not the best nests in the Midwest. And mm -hmm. you just have to say you have to match that, and then you also have to beat the best Yoshi in the Midwest. Right. Just one one. Up. I know Drew is also very good. You need to get the crazy plays in order to come back from. A matchup just of oh, jeez. That would have <laughs> been so brutal. <laughs> that would have been so sick to confirm into the home run bet. But yeah, also it's it's just looking like like blue team, they've just gotten the download of figured out what red team is trying to do, whereas blue team has a way more complicated strategy. So Red Team has not figured out what they need to do to counter theirs yet. Yeah, it's really just looking like every interaction, despite a lot of trades going on, every interaction is just ending with more advantage for uh, Blue Team. Mm -hmm. They're doing such a good job of converting off of everything they can, getting the kills they need. Although with this much stage control, if they can take both stocks here, it's looking mighty nice for them. Oh, but Seth makes it back. <laughs> so does Tata. When you've got both those characters off stage, it's vital that you at least get a stock out of it. Uh-huh, and once one gets back, they can just assist and get the other back, but... Great anti air. Stock. They can take Seth's in quick order. It's not looking too dismal. Oh, he didn't have his jump there. That F smash could have done it. Ooh. All right, here goes another uh, off stage oh. opportunity. 
That was clever. So Seth had the up B to recover, and they were able to convert. Oh, okay. I was talking about taking Seth's stock, but they yeah. had another plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's always the strategy of just targeting one person, and it can work very well for depending on how aggressive your character is. And, you know, Ness and Joker, two very aggressive characters, so if they can keep trying to focus down Atata, they can really make the most of it, because that puts a lot of pressure on Atata, and he has to start taking some of uh, Seth's stocks. Especially with, like, the dichotomy between Yoshi's fantastic recovery and Ness's awful recovery. It's like, well, we just gotta keep getting Ness off stage, I guess, and then go from there, because Seth has not taken a single stock, and Atata is about to lose his last one. Yeah. Oh, oh. an unfortunate <laughs> team kill. The up air gonna kill him, and now Atata finds himself on ledge. Uh, Seth gonna come by though and uh, get get him a little safety, but and there suddenly, goes that stock. And yeah, they have turned it around so much, got a two stock lead. Yeah, it's like at the last moment they figured it out. Like, oh, we just need to keep killing Atata. He's the <laughs> fragile one. Let Seth do whatever he wants. If he's off stage, just double team Atata. Yeah, I mean, if you can't kill someone, then you just make their teammate kill them. Exactly. Both literally and physically with that team kill that happened. It is, it is doubles. Like, there are so many random hitboxes being thrown out. You can't survive forever. No need to force the issue. Oh. Oh, wow. Great job. The drag down up air into the er, down smash. Ooh. Oh, unfortunate. And this is looking rough now. Yeah, because TM4 is at kill percent. The next hit off stage could certainly do him in. Okay, the fact that Team 4 survived that exchange is incredibly important. And now he's got them both off stage. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, and just an off smash got him caught on the platform. And now Daijobu has got a lot to work, but he's only at 10%. He hasn't oh. had Arsene yet, so he could he could pull something here. He can get like a. Oh, there's yeah, the here's the Arsene coming out. He just needs to do something fancy. That gun just saved him from PK Thunder too. Oh, absolutely. It's such a good move. Oh. Oh, Ooh, the empty hop's going to get him egg laid, but he's able to get off ledge. Oh. It all comes down to this one exchange. He loses our scent after this. It really does. He can get one stock. That's all he needs. All right, and there oh, goes our scent. The bad blue man is gone. But he gets the F smash, and Yoshi's at a high away. percent. He only needs one real confirm, and he might be able to do it. Oh. Up tilt going to yeah, put him way up the there. That's going to yeah. get you punished. And a great <laughs> job, great show of patience from Seth, locking it down. And we are moving to grand final.